Hey guys, I am making a video. I'm super tired. I'm pretty sure you can probably hear it in my voice and I look like I just woke up. My shirt's inside out. So, you know, this is a rough morning. I'm tired. But I forgot to make the video yesterday. The third video. So I'm going to make it right now. And I'm probably going to post another video in like a couple minutes after that because I'm going to make sure I get to it. Um... So I'm starting off. Ow. I'm starting off with this problem right here. It's going to say divide and it's going to look just like this. <clears throat> okay, to solve that problem, you're going to have to. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Okay, no, I don't. Never mind. But um, for, to solve this problem, you have to flip the second fraction over like a reciprocal. So for the notes, I wrote first note. I wrote you flip the second fraction and change the dividing sign to multiplication. Okay, that's what you have to do first before you solve this problem. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, see I have this first problem the same as up here. I change this sign. I change the sign from divide into multiplication. You do that with fractions. That's the reason why I did it that way. You can't just divide it like that. And you can't multiply it like that either. Why? I don't know. That's just the rules for fractions. I didn't make up the rules. I don't know. I think it's easier doing it that way. This way anyway. So what I did here was I changed the sign to multiplication <clears throat> and I flipped it over. See how the 6 was at the top right here? The 6 is at the bottom right here. See how the 3x plus 3 was at the bottom right here? The 3x plus 3 is, yeah, the 3x plus 3 is at the top here. All you do is flip it over. The second thing you do, you multiply straight across. So, <clears throat> 5 times 3 you have to do it like this, okay? Just like distributing. So 5 times 3 is 15. It's 15, so it's going to be 15x. And don't forget you got to bring the x with it because it's um, by the variable is by the number. And then you do 15, I mean 5 times 3. You see? And then it will give you 15. Okay, you do it that way. So right here is going to be x times 6 and you're going to get 6x and then you're going to do 1 times 6 and that will give you 6 right here. You see how I did it? I should have drew arrows but I thought that was going to make it too complicated now like it's going to be all over the place. I, I thought I was going to confuse you guys. I should have drew arrows. It would have been better. But um, after that you you do the canceling out. I really need like a desk. But um the third thing you do is canceled out. So what what am I talking about? What about canceling out? Cancel out this x the x plus fifteen and the x plus six. Why are you doing that? It's because you have to factor. I meant to wrote write that right there, but whatever. You factor this, the x plus fifteen and the x plus one plus 6 by 1. So since your factoring is by 1, you just cross it straight out. For each problem like this, because it's going to probably give you something like this problem, but it's going to say multiply, and it's going to give you this extra crap right here, the 5x, I mean the x plus whatever number, and you just cross the x plus whatever is after that um, sign, the plus sign. You see? You just cross it out. You always cross this out because this has nothing to do with the problem anymore. It's nothing to do with the problem. Okay, the fourth thing you do is turn, yeah, turn the fr turn fraction into mixed fraction. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you take this fifteen over six and you bring it down. You bring it down here, 
Make sure you simplify it first before you put it in the mixed fraction, okay? If it can be simplified, simplify it first before the mix, you turn it into the mixed fraction. Before, okay, I said before, not after. Before, you turn it into a mixed fraction. Okay, after that, oh, I simplified it, so it's 5 over 2. And so how do you get a mixed fraction? How do you turn this into a mixed fraction? 2 goes into 5 twice and 2 times 2 is 4 so a 4 take away 5 take away 4 is 1 since 2 is whole 2 is you're going to be a whole number and it's going to be 1 left so 1 over 2 it's going to be 2 because you keep your same denominator okay you keep the same denominator so your answer is going to be 2 and 1 half for this question right here. I spent a lot of time on that question. So, when you see that, you better get it right. So, no, but for real, you, you should get it right. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice, you guys. I'm still sick, like, <sighs> but whatever. Oh, let me read it for to you first. If the following is a right triangle and angle 2 is 35 degrees, what is the measure of angle 1? I'll show you the question. These things right here, this means angle, the little right here. It looks like an inequality sign, but it's just, it's just an angle. That just means angle, okay? Okay, it's going to show it. <clears throat> Like, well, okay, it's going to show it like this. The problem is going to show this, a triangle, a right triangle. But it's not going to say 90 degrees in the box. I just put that there for you can know this is a right triangle. And where you see the box is going to be 90. This is going to be, since it's an L, you see the L right there? That's 90 degrees. So this corner, this angle right here is going to be 90. And then they said angle 2 is 35 degrees. So you fill it in, angle 2. 35 degrees. So all triangles equal up to 180 degrees. So um, the oh yeah, the first thing you had to do was fill this spot in. I mean, fill this spot in the angle two, and for you can know. The second thing you do is add 90 plus 35 to see how much that is, how much you got. So. 90 plus 35 equals 125. Okay, the second thing you do is subtract 180, take away 125, add it, I mean, and it will give you the answer to the angle. And the answer is 55 degrees. Why do you subtract 180 from 125? 180, the triangle, all of the triangle equals up to 180. So, since you already got 125 right here, it's you have to see the difference to get angle 1. So 180, 180 take away 125 is 55. So that means angle 1 is 55 degrees. See, I asked the me what is the me measurement um, to angle 1. Yeah. What is the measure? You see, that's all you have to do for that problem. Next problem I'm about to show you. Dang, this time go by fast, but whatever. Um, it says 30 is what percent of 90? Okay, you're probably gonna see this. You're most likely gonna see this on the test in math knowledge, or yeah, math. Most likely it's gonna be math knowledge section. Okay, it's gonna be this question right here. 30 is what percent of 90? Okay, first you do, you're going to use this formula right here. This always helped me best. Okay? It's, this is percent over 100 equals is over of. Okay, two, the second thing you, you do, you substitute. Hold on, wait, i got to read it first. You substitute the numbers in the problem. Okay, you see how I have it underlined? It says 30 is is. You see, 30 equals is. That's what means you put 
Where you see is, that means you put the 30 there. What is the percent, so what is X? I just meant to put that there. And of is 90. So 90 is going to go where it says of, okay? Let me see where I wrote it right there. So I, this is how I got how I set it up. X over 100 equals 30 over 90. So <clears throat> the third thing you do is cross multiply 30 times 100. And that will equal 3,000. Then divide 90 divided by 3,000. Okay, you see how I did it right here? I said it. I wrote the notes. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, what I did here is I cross multiplied 30 times 100. And then I got 3,000. And then you divide it. You see how 30 is over 90? So that means you divide it. So. There, whatever you thirty times one hundred, I got three thousand. So ninety divided by three thousand, and I got um, your answer will be thirty three point three. But you you can't round it up, so it will be just thirty three. So <clears throat> your answer will be thirty three percent, and that's where the, it will be x. So it says thirty is what percent of ninety? It's 33% of 90. The reason why you can't couldn't round it up is because, you know, 5 or more, if it, this was a 5, then it would have been 34. But since this is under 5, then you can't round it up. You see how I did that? You cross multiply 30 times 100, then you divide it by 90. And that's how you find the x. You should use the is over of formula for this problem. It's way better and way easier. I don't know, but that's it for this video. Bye.